So he says there's a chariot, there are five horses, there's a guy who's holding on to the reins of the chariot, right? And there's a passenger in the back. So I'll explain what it means. The five horses are the five senses. The senses are saying, I want this, I want that, I want to see this, I want to touch that, I want to smell this. The reins is the mind. The intelligence is the charioteer who's holding on to the reins. Now, if the intelligence is weak, the horses can go anywhere and the chariot just goes bust, right? So intelligence has to be strong to hold on to the mind. And the passenger is the soul. And the wheels of the chariot, the day and night time is going, right? So if our thoughts are not controlled properly with the help of intelligence, backed by knowledge, and nothing better than the knowledge of Bhagavad Gita, then the five horses will go in five different directions. And before we know, we'll topple and, and die, right? So we need to take control of our thoughts. We need to take control of our mind. We need to take control of our life. Then we can make a destination that this is the goal I want to achieve and we can go there. Otherwise, we think one day I'll be something. And there's a distraction here that I go here. Instead of going there, I'm going this way. And then again, I take a detour, I go this way. And I'm constantly going hither and thither and before I know I'm dead. I'm old and I have nothing to do, nothing to show for in life. So we don't need to be that way. We, it might happen that we are influenced by different, different things, so we are just clueless. But this is about waking up. Wake up, make a direction, and point your arrow at the direction and keep going. Yeah? Okay. What else?